Kia ora, kōdia ho, haramai, welcome to today's 5 Minute Makerspace. We're going to be making some paper darts today and all you're going to need really is some thread, some scissors, some tape, a little bit of cardboard and a straw, though we do need a wide one. Let's take a closer look. First thing we're going to do is measure a length of card. We don't have to be really exact but we want it to be about six and a half, seven centimetres and about three centimetres wide. Now you could make yours longer, but because my length of straw that I found is not that long, we have to, um, we have to improvise a little bit. So I'll just cut that to size. Now, we're going to create a little bit of a tab on the end. So, cut about one centimetre along and just cut those tabs there. Don't need those pieces of paper, so you can set them aside. Now, take your thread, place it around your hand and just wind and continue to wind. Don't cut off the circulation in your fingers. But to continue to wind it until it looks like it would create a pretty cool tail. Then just cut the thread, set the thread aside. Now, cut the thread while well, it's on your hand, like so. You can discard any small pieces. Then place it, like so, across the tab. Fold the tab in. You can add a little piece of tape if you want to, to secure it. That is going to create our tail. Now, as, as best you can, roll the piece of cardboard as tightly as you possibly can. Then when you get to the end, take a longer piece of tape and tape it along the seal. You can trim it if you need to. You can make several of these paper darts and make them any combination of colors you wish. Then it's time to place them inside your tube and then blow through the other end to make them fly. Let's take a look. So how did your darts go? If you had a longer piece of tube, you could definitely make some longer darts, make a longer tail, and make them look really cool. See if you can outdo your friends. Thanks for joining us. Kakite.